talking about oh, hoping geez. it's not this hot this year. Remember when it reached 97 degrees on August 27th? I oh. remember every moment of it. <laughs> yes, you do. It scars you. Yes. I hear we're not going to top that this year, which is great. But for the ladies out there, the heat and humidity can do quite a bit for your makeup. And generally, it's a lot of bad things. So yeah. here were some products to help make sure that it all stays put. We welcome beauty expert and new reflection salon makeup artist, Julie Martin. Hi, Julie. Nice Hi. to see you. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Okay. So foundation is a big thing, and you say a primer, even though some of us think maybe we don't want to layer on another product in the heat and humidity, a primer is worth it? Right, especially one that's oil-free, because it makes a barrier between your skin and the foundation. Okay. And it also acts like double stick tape for the foundation, so like it does box. two things. All right, so you like one from Smashbox? Yeah, this is probably my favorite one on the market. I've used it for years. Um, it's oil-free, it has a little dimethicone in it, so what that does is it smooths you out, so you look a little bit more flawless also. Okay. In addition to giving you that double stick tape. What do you not want to see on your foundation label? Um, I would look for anything that says luminous, moisturizing, anything like that I would stay away from because it's gonna add in a little extra dew and if yeah. you're already getting dewy all on your own, from the humidity, yeah. we don't want to add to it. And that's it. important to remember yeah. because you see moisturizing and you think, well, I'll get dry and this is a great way to stay moisturized, but bad when it comes to makeup. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, just wait if you're at the state fair running around and sure. you're, and you're, hot you're in and that humid. Hot situation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's really great for brides. Too. What's an oil control lotion? Right. They're tons of different ones on the market. This one is one of my favorite go-tos, and I think we talked about it. Yeah. Steve, this would be great for you. Oh, Steve. I'm it a well, listen, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'm an oily guy. <laughs> It has, um, it has SPF 15, it's a skincare product as well, but it has an ingredient in it that's going to completely, it almost kind of trains your skin to not produce oil. Oh. Well, I like the so sound it'll, of that. Right. It'll kind of and it'll keep it matte for up to 8 to 10 hours. And this is by Murad and it Correct. has an SPF in it too, which yeah, is Yeah, SPF nice. 15. Okay, mm -hmm. that's really good. Yeah. Now, a yeah. setting spray. Yes. Yes. So you guys have heard me talk about this one before. You use it. I'm in love, love with it. this stuff. I love use it. this stuff every day. Right. So this is the Aveda Skin Firming Toner. I like it underneath makeup to kind of give you a little hydration, sure. balance your pH, and I also like it on top. So we're going to spray Steve. This yeah, is how you do it at home. Do it. Right. Ready? Okay, ready? ready? Set, go. Yes. Yes, how refreshing. Fresh, how wonderful. Oh, it in. You look amazing. <laughs> okay, just head outside. It smells really good, though, right? It does smell like good. Rose. I, well, I bust this out on airplanes yeah. for myself and my husband yeah. regularly, but I wouldn't think that's a dry environment. You're talking about a human yeah. environment. So what it does is it balances your pH. So when your skin is feeling balanced, it won't produce as much either. Okay. It also has a teeny tiny bit um, of a setting kind of factor in it. Yeah. So if I spray it on, I do it all the time on the models that come on the show. Yeah. Spray them down with this before they go on just to kind of set everything melted in. Oh yeah. man, I'm addicted to that stuff. Yeah. All right, now anytime, look, uh, since I wear makeup for my job. Right, uh, I put it on them for his job. <laughs> I do blotting paper because <laughs> it's very easy to get very oily quickly right. and then you're not sure if you should then start caking on more powder. Right, so what I like to do, and you can do this, I'm gonna give you one, you know how to do it, yeah. correct? Put, these put that your on your forehead. Yes, yeah, so I can do this right? up here. Uh -huh. So you blot it. You know, they're cheap and cheerful. They're like eight to ten bucks usually. Also go across your T-zone, folks. Right. Thank you, Steve. He's yeah. taking over the segment now. Now, do you like this? You think a lot of women will keep a compact with them and sort of blot the pressed powder. Yeah. You think that's a bad idea? I think in high humidity and things like that, I would prefer this because look at the paper. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you yeah. get a lot off. Hey, guys, let's ooze. Ew. Okay. <laughs> More like, wow, Steve, that was courageous of you to do on television. That was. Took one for the team. So... I like it because it'll just lift the oil away, but it will leave your makeup. If you yeah. start putting right. on, you know, powder after powder after powder, eight hours later, you have a lot of makeup on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit of an easier way to control it without looking too makeup y by okay. the end of the day. Okay, so a couple other makeup tips when it comes yeah. to your eyes. Yes. Mascara and eyeliner, what are your recommendations? You know, if you're going to be in that environment, state fair, wedding, whatever it is, yeah. I would definitely wear something that's waterproof. Mm -hmm. uh, I would stay away from pencils that say coal in them. A lot of pencils that you sharpen. Like KOHL, right? Yes, KOHL. Mm -hmm. A lot of those, as you wear them, even in any weather, they'll start to warm up with your body temperature and they'll, they'll start to move. Okay. So if sometimes you're like, gosh, why is my eyeliner flying all over my face? Yeah. That's why. So you want to use a liquid? Liquid. So I like liquid waterproof or a gel waterproof and waterproof mascara. Okay, those are the tips. Yeah. I think we're all set to go. I feel right? really You feel good. ready for the fair? Yeah. I feel, I feel like, you, should I keep this? Let's I have this all the ready. Or anytime somebody falls asleep, you just start spraying them. And it'll keep them pretty alert, too. So. I love it, Julie. Thank you. Good Thanks. stuff there. To see all of Julie's sweat-proof makeup suggestions again, head to TwinCitiesLive.com. Yeah. All right, we started to bring you this next story.